Okay, for the more advanced students, I've included this page of chord construction. And I've taken our basic E form and A form chords. And I have drawn a picture of a major scale. And right next to that, drawn the corresponding notes that make up those chords. And if you'll see, all major chords, or in this case, your E form and your A form, major chords are made up of the root, the three, and the five. Notice that the minor chords have a root, a flat three, and a five. And our seventh chords, or dominant seventh chords, have a root, three, five, and a flat seven. So take a look at this. I've drawn a picture diagram of the piano. So if you have a piano, if you play piano, you can sit down and, you know, utilize the same method of, you know, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, three, five, ah, there's a C chord. What about in the key of G? One, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. The formula works on any instrument. I focused on the piano and on the guitar. Um, so you have to use a root six major scale to define a root six chord. You have to use a root five major scale to define a root five chord. Okay, so they have to sync up like that. But take a look at this and really begin to understand that you're all major chords, root three, five. All minor chords, root flat three, five. If it doesn't have a flat three in it, it's not minor. Okay? It only takes three notes to make a chord. If you have a bass player and he's playing the bass note, then a guitar player could get away with just playing. A real stripped down version. A lot of times you'll hear that in jazz. Um, less is more sometimes. Okay? So, um, and also once you've established what it is that you're doing with uh, the listener's ear, um, a lot of what you leave out is implied. Okay, So gain a basic understanding of what chord construction is. Because if you understand it on a basic level, it's much easier to build. Don't try to learn all of the notes to all of the chords and all of this at once. Get a foundation. Get a basic understanding of really what chord construction is, is about with what it is that we use all the time. And then from there, as you begin to learn uh, more and more chords, uh, minor seventh, uh, minor seven flat five, your ninths, your substitution chords, all of that, it, the fundamentals are the same. You're just adding a little bit of information to each one, and it's not so overwhelming.